everything you've ordered is on the trolley or in the centre of the room. It is one o'clock. You have until 2.20. Ready, steady, cook. For our main course, we're making a homemade pesto pasta with chicken. We're making a pasta bake. We're making a smoked mackerel pate with oat cakes um, and a chicken lasagna. This afternoon we are running our Ready Steady Cook house competition. This year the rules were a little bit different because the meal had to be appropriate for a Commonwealth Games athlete, Lindsay Sharp. I'm really looking forward to the competition today. I've had a look at the menus and there's some really nice things on there. I'm tempted by the one that has a sort of fancy dessert, but then I've got to weigh that up with the fact that I try not to have desserts too often, so I'll need to have a look at the brief again. <laughs> Yeah, I'm quite excited actually because I'm quite uh, I like really like sport myself. So meeting an actual sports person is just it's really really entertaining for me. Right, guys, you've got 20 minutes left. I'm quite passionate about cooking and food, so it's nice to see um, some younger people into it as well. And there's a good variety on the menus, and luckily they're all the types of things that I would eat. So I'm looking forward to trying them. As a department, health and food technology is obviously a big deal at George Watson's College. We feel the knowledge of nutrition is hugely important. Hopefully the menus that the children will have created for Lindsay this afternoon will reflect their understanding of um, nutrition and the needs of an athlete. I think um, the dish we're cooking is, is healthy. We chose pasta because of like the carbs, um, so for like... Um, and then um, the fruit salad also because it's healthy. For the main course, it's given us a whole variety of evidence. You've got the chicken for your protein, carbohydrates in the pasta, so I guess it's given an all round energy boost for the athlete. Can we please stop there? That is your time up. That's really good. Yeah. It's not too fishy, which I like. Mm -hmm. That's really good as well. What's in the sauce, do you know? That's really similar to a thing my gran used to make for me. Should I just pour the salt in? They're both really good. I think with the salad as well, that's nice. That's a good sign. <laughs> so you like that one? Yeah, Cheers. that's good. Beautifully presented, mm -hmm. it's very original. Not easy to eat, that's the only thing. It's the sort of thing I would sit and eat, like after dinner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the grand finale, the one I've been waiting for. <laughs> I don't know how to eat it though. Maybe I should try and mark them out of ten, and that might make it easier. I might have to give that. It's got to be high because I keep eating it, so that's like an eight plus maybe a seven. That's probably an eight and an eight, and that's probably like a nine and a seven. So what's that? They're pretty much all the same then. <laughs> oh, you're right. So high because it's between three of them. Maybe I should make those two the joint winners and that one first. Okay, first, first, the end one. I'm so nervous. <laughs> it really was a lot of debate. I actually couldn't decide, so I gave you joint first. <laughs> well done. We came joint first, so that, I'm really pleased with that. The team put in a lot of effort. Yeah, really pleased with everyone's work with it. It was a close call. I didn't know who was going to win, so I'm glad we did. Um, ideally, I would have taken one course from each one. I'm used to running and I find that easy, so judging other people's talents is quite difficult. I'm really looking forward to being involved with 500 Miles and Big Dinner. The Big Dinner is a really simple thing. It's probably something that a lot of people um, do anyway, have people around. So just spread the word and, and get people around and have some nice food.